families are looking for a place to belong. And I think when you ask a new teacher, a new staff member, a new family, and they come here, they sense that community. Our family is uh, third generation here. My dad attended Westside back in the 60s. I was here in the late 80s, and now in 2023, we're blessed to have uh, both of our kids here. I think just for us, like the vision was set by God to say, I designed this school, I planted it here, and that it really has been following his leading and how he brought people together, like the spirit moving among us to say, this is needed. I see kids coming alongside each other and encouraging each other. And the glimpse of Jesus that I see in that is kids being free to explore and be themselves and feel successful. It really feels like a community and almost more like a family. The roots and the foundation of the Reformed faith here at Westside has been so strong that that's why our school continues to grow. Whether it's in programming or enrollment or financial or philanthropy, all of those things are growing because people know who we are and who we always will be. The Westside Christian School culture is unique because we have a community, I believe, that cares. They care for the well-being of not only their children or their immediate family, but they also care collectively for the, the, the greater group. When I think of it, I think of warmth and safety and belonging. I think that spans across generations, which is really unique with Westside. My dad had the same kindergarten teacher that my sisters and I did. So Mrs. Hoidinga was his kindergarten teacher and was my sister and I kindergarten teacher. So that was really special. I could sit down at the piano with the kids and play, and we had some wonderful opportunities. I don't know how many times we sang Amazing Grace, probably a thousand. But they felt, I knew they felt it in their hearts and their souls. When I was in the second grade, Bill Vinny came here, and what an influence that man had on me. And he taught us all to read music and to appreciate music. This year is, marks my 49th season with the Grand Rapids Symphony. So I ended up going into music professionally and not in small part due to Belvini. My love of sport and training, which led me to what I'm doing now, really impacted me from West Side. I can still smell the wood floors walking into the gym from the stage at, the, at West Side and Mr. Vandenbosch, gym classes. Whether it was soccer practices or softball practice, it really had an impact on, on my love of training and what I do now. I had um, a teacher my eighth grade year, Mrs. Van Til. She was awesome. She had a huge impact on me. There was some stuff going on in my life during that time and she helped to shape my faith and kind of get me through a tough time and really open uh, my eyes to how much teachers really care about their students. As we celebrate the 140th year and continue to think about the legacy and the stories that come from this school that brings us, you know, our shared love for Jesus first, but also our shared love for Westside Christian School. And if you look back at 140 years ago from what the school looked like and to what it looks like now, then trying to imagine 100 years from now, it's gonna be awesome. And I know that it's still gonna be a Christ-centered community built on love and support for each other. Do you remember that the school started only 18 years after Abe Lincoln was assassinated? That's amazing when you think about that. I'm hopeful for the future of Westside because um, just seeing the teachers here, I know that Westside is going to continue on teaching our kids, loving our kids, preparing them for a future as Christians in the world. Whether it's the teachers, the administrators, the families, the kids, it's just, it, it's a tight bond. You, you feel it 
from the minute you walk in the door, the, the, the people in the office greet you with the biggest smile. It's just amazing that people here make the experience, no doubt about it.